Hello and welcome back to 4FS Gaming. I am Ascendance and today we are going to look at some different tactics that you can use when playing with a partner. Some of these are very simple, some a little bit more refined, but all are extremely useful and can give you a decent advantage. Tactic number one is the double shot. This is an extremely simple technique to use while springing an ambush, or taking any opening shot on unsuspecting hunters. You and your partner aim at the same enemy and shoot at the same time. This doubles your chances of landing a headshot, and even if you both miss the head, a double body shot with long ammo rifles will guarantee a kill at most ranges. This is far better than leaving a gap between when you and your partner engage, because if that opening shot doesn't kill, the enemy is going to be ducking, weaving and running to cover straight away, making any follow-up shots much harder. Although simple in theory, it is rather complicated to pull off well, because not only do you have to time your shot with your partner, you have to ensure you are both in a good position to take that shot without being seen first. And then you have to sync this up with a moment that the enemy is in clear view to both of you. If you're not confident in your headshot skills, I definitely recommend waiting till your partner also has the target in his sights before opening fire. The second tactic is what I call orienteering. This is a system you can use to describe to your partner exactly where an enemy may be. Hunt Showdown does have a compass system for you to call out angles to your partner, However, this quickly loses accuracy as you and your partner split up, as what reads 90 degrees to you will read much higher if your partner is very far to your left. The compass system of directions does also not account for distance, and estimating a relative distance in meters is completely arbitrary. Instead, the orient hearing method calls for you to give directions relative to objects on the map. Callouts like, just to the left of the White House, or they are running from left to right behind the clue building, provide far better information than enemy at 130, around, I don't know, 100 meters away. Of course, if you are using left and right as descriptors, your partner has to be somewhat facing the same direction as you. So if you are far away, or confident that your partner knows his cardinal points, use them instead by saying things like, he is a few paces south of the bridge on the Devant Ranch bank. Get used to giving callouts like this with your partner, and they will be able to make better decisions much faster. In front of me, they see me. Shit, left side, outside the station. Headshot, one down. Yep, yep. Left side, outside the wall. I see him. Hit him once. Where is he? He's gone back out. Hit him once. Tactic number three is boss baiting. I'm sure we have all been in a situation where we know there are enemy hunters somewhere around the boss lair, just waiting for you to start fighting the boss to charge out of some nearby bushes and kill you whilst you are distracted. Well, boss baiting is a great way to counter this without taking ages to sweep the entire area. To do this, one of you will go and start the boss fight. The louder that person is, the better. You need to convince any nearby enemies that you have been completely committed to that fight. Shoot your primary, switch to your sidearm and shoot that as well. Try to give off the impression that both of you are in the building fighting the bounty target. Because of course only one of you is actually inside, the other is outside in a good overwatch position preferably within throwable range of whatever entrance your team is using to bait that boss fight. The entrance to the lair you choose is also really important. It needs to be protected from long sight lines, so that if any camping enemies try to spring their trap, they will have to get close, right into that kill zone that you are watching. When they think that they are about to sneak up on the person inside, warn that teammate, pincer them, and eliminate them. Our fourth team tactic is for defending a boss lair and leaving it safely once you have the bounty. I call it the spider's web. Basically, when you pick up a bounty, you don't both have to pick up the bounty. One person can grab the dark side boost and identify where any enemies may be around the compound, allowing the other person to make a sneaky exit and flank around to kill them stealthily while they are focused on the bounty holder still inside the boss lair. This goes for any time when one partner has the bounty and the other doesn't. Don't stick together. Fan out and use the person with dark side boost to direct the invisible team member to flank and pincer unsuspecting pursuers. This is extra successful if you fan out while the banishing is still in progress, allowing you to immediately pincer teams rushing into the compound to steal your bounty. Fanning out is setting your web. The dark side boost gives you directions to any prey in your web, the lightning over the bounty distracts and immobilizes the attention of your targets and the silent partner is able to move undetected towards those targets. 
Oh, I'm missing the head again. Don't die, hold him there for a few more seconds. Get him again. Fuck up, tagged him. Like four, five Fuck times. yes! <laughs> Two outside, uh, just outside here. Is that you? Yep. No hit. Rushing me. Ah, he's still out there. Nice work. There he is. There's the other guy just down the steps. Healing. Shit. Come on, come on, come on. Got him. Nice work. Can you scan for me? We're clear. The final tactic that I want to speak about today is rabbiting. I use this tactic every time my partner and I make an aggressive push. The idea is that when the opponent is on the back foot, they will most likely move to either retreat or reposition. This can happen if you jump a duo when they are busy with AI, out in the open during a boss fight, or if you are able to dome and kill one of the duo immediately on your opening shot. The tactic is that instead of staying by your partner and pursuing the retreating duo along the same route, you should fan out. One of you making a direct push, while the other moves towards the most likely place that they could retreat to and reposition to cut them off. Some simple examples might be if you open fire and the enemy runs into a small building, instead of both charging in the front door, one of you goes around the outside to catch anyone running out the back door. Splitting up and moving around separate sides of a dirt mound the enemy has fled behind is another example, or making sure that you take different angles as you pursue a team towards an extraction. The benefits of this tactic are huge, because it halves your vulnerability to a well-placed dynamite bundle, but remember that if you pursue together and the enemy takes cover from one of you, then both of you can't get a shot off them, because you're approaching from the same angle. By using rabbiting, one partner to flush them out and the other to catch them on the other side, you can really put the pressure on and confirm those team wipes on retreating teams. Now this isn't just a tactic that anyone can start using, it does take a good deal of map knowledge to know the fastest route so that you can cut off enemies and also be able to move back to your partner if they do get into trouble. It also usually works only when you're pressuring and have the psychological upper hand, and it takes good game sense to know when it's time to push, and maybe not such a good idea at all. Nice kill. The other one's there. Reloading. You got him up. There's still one. Yep. Going in. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I got time you beat me to a kill. Hopefully these tips can help you work better with your partner for some success in the swamps. If you found this video helpful, please like and consider subscribing. Feel free to comment below or head over and chat to us in our Discord server linked in the description. Thank you so much for watching. This is Ascendance from 4FS Gaming. I'm looking at when I press stage. Oh. Uh. oh, that felt good. I just felt like I probably shouldn't feel good for shitting on noobs because that's exactly what they <laughs> were. Yeah. They always just sit in one spot and hide. And Why revive they... each other immediately. Yeah, they never try to just shoot you. They just sit and hide. Though. A complete noob. Oh, what was that? We've got a silence gun. Oh my god!